Right, so we're going to make the head and heart cake this week. Uh, so we start off making the heart. So I've got 150 grams of soft margarine, 150 grams of self freezing flour, 150 grams of castor sugar, and three rotmeal farm eggs. And uh, they're just all in the bowl together and a quick mix with a hand mixer. <laughs> just as that's ready, I'm going to add to it, I'm going to make it raspberry flavoured. So I'm going to add to it, this is a, a whole tube of cake, red um, cake colouring. It's natural, so let's see, uh, just add the whole tube in. Give that a quick mix in, scraping down your bowl at the same time. And we're also adding six frozen raspberries and just crush them up and add them in. And just to make it a grown up tree, I'm adding in a teaspoonful of Chombard raspberry liqueur. You can leave this out if you want. You don't have to add that in if you're making it with children, but just to make it a little bit grown up. And just give that a quick flip. Remember not to overbeat it. And it's a lovely red color. Put that into your loaf tin. And we're baking that at a, a fan oven, 180 degrees for 45 minutes. There we are. Put the oven and cooled. So we're just going to cut this into slices, about an inch, about, sorry, about a centimetre and a half thick. Um, and you can see it's a beautiful, pink red colour and we need a, a heart shaped cutter. This one's two and a half centimetres from there to there. And we're cutting out love hearts out of the cake. And cut them like this, you get two out of a slice. And you need approximately um, 13 of them. So if you just cut them and put them on a tray and pop them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the second part of the, the secret heart cake. So we start off with four Rockwell Farm eggs. Two hundred grams of self frozen flour, two hundred grams of castor sugar, two hundred grams of soft margarine, and just the same again. Uh, mix them up with your. <laughs> Now for the trick. What you need is your loaf tin lined with paper and in the bottom you put four tablespoons of your mix 
and spread it out. Now you get your hearts that have been in the freezer for 15 minutes. You don't want them frozen, it's just to firm them up a wee bit to make them easier to handle. And you put them in your tin in a row along the middle. Be snugly in, so just pull them towards and squeeze an, an extra one in than you think. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I used. I cut, I cut some extra, but twelve. And then <coughs> you simply put the rest of your mixture gently over the top. Covering in the love hearts. So now you can see where the, how the secret heart works and this just put it in your tin and empty again to your oven 180 degrees right. okay so that's the cake it's actually had 55 minutes in the oven but just again test it with your skewer but watch not go just in the middle because that's where the cooked cake from originally is. Now I'm going to put a drizzle on this with the Chambord and lemon drizzle, but you can miss this bit all, all together if you're serving it to children, or you could do it just with a raspberry liqueur. So we're just going to do like holes all over it to let the drizzle through. got 50 grams of caster sugar and I've got a tablespoonful of chambord black eh, raspberry liqueur and a tablespoonful of lemon juice and add that into the sugar give it a mix up a tablespoonful of boiling water and this is the sugar doesn't fully dissolve and you just pour this over the cake gently and it should go into your little holes. Just take your time and it will soak in through all your little holes. There you are and just leave it to cool in the tin. So that's the cake out of the oven, um, oven really cold and the drizzle through it. So that's it out of the um, liner. So now we're going to make some raspberry icing. So I've got 100 grams of softened butter, 200 grams of icing sugar, sift and Half a tablespoon of chambord. Again, you don't need to add this in. You can use raspberry liqueur or nothing at all. And I've got six defrosted frozen raspberries. And you just put that all together. And the raspberries give you enough colouring this time. Don't need any food colouring. And 
you just take your cake and you just put all this on top of your cake. It's my kind of decorating, I don't, not really, I just like things quite rustic. You take it down the sides to hide your heart if you wanted. And just do a wee pattern on the top. And since it's coming up to Valentine's Day, I've got some lovely love hearts. So, I'll just cut that and make you see. That's our hidden heart Valentine's cake.